Hello, and welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel, and this video has found you for a reason. Let's embrace this new era of innovation, transformation, and regeneration together. I'm excited to create this video, and whilst filming this session, Pluto has made its way into the sign of Aquarius, a transit that has taken the past 248 years. The last time was in 1777 until 1798, and it focuses on death and rebirth of the ego and the soul. Pluto is a generational planet which means that it becomes influential over a longer period of time. Pluto represents the hidden and a release of energy buildup. It also awakens truth and power, shedding light on authenticity and authority. Pluto will break down old constructs and systems, which ultimately leads to transformation evolution, and even revolution. And whilst we can't blame the planets for our personal choices in life, their energy can be used to guide us rather than control us. Everyone will be impacted by this planetary shift, so let's get off to a positive start. Aquarius is all about fresh, innovative ideas, forward thinking or thinking outside the box. They enjoy what is unique and eccentric and what stands out. They challenge authority and social constructs, stereotypes and the conventional. They don't care much for tradition. They like to be mavericks and try new things, but they do like people and they express themselves authentically. With this shift, you may become quite revolutionary and philosophical in your way of thinking and dealing with others. And you may also become much less tolerant of fake, inauthentic people. You may also be able to see through manipulative behavior much easier. Now many of us, particularly in the spiritual community, would have already made that shift in preparation, but Pluto will bring this about on a societal and global scale. So there will be many more awakening and challenging authority and convention. It can feel chaotic for a time, but it will improve so long as we collectively help one another and hold on to more positive energy. On the contrary, there will be a lot of relationship breakups as you come to terms with those close to you not having your best interests at heart. Perhaps you have been betrayed, stabbed in the back or have attracted negative behavior from others because of jealousy. This is your time to release it all and make way for new energy, make space for this new era, which we will become very familiar with for the next 19 years until March 2043. So choose this session to make peace with what has come before, all of your experiences that have led you to this point. Cut away anything that is holding you back it can be mental blocks, financial blocks, people, places, self-sabotage. Only you will know your own personal challenges and use this session to release them. We have moved out of Capricorn now, which would have been quite intense, money-driven, egoistic, controlling, traditional, conventional, and heavy energy, and moving into a more free and innovative time. 
If you receive guidance during this session, write it down or add it to the notes in your phone. They come to you for a reason. Don't overthink it. Make this session as simplistic and relaxing as you can. You may receive animals, colors, song lyrics, phrases, a course of action, a book title, names, numbers, and so forth. It's got to feel right to you. It's got to feel good and inspiring, even joyful. So taking some deep, cleansing breaths, cutting away old cord connections, negative attachments, and residual energy, and I will begin the subliminals shortly. We will be focusing on removing blocks. They can come in the form of shame, guilt, doubt, mental health issues, physical ailments, stagnancy, procrastination, and bad treatment from others. Remember that everyone and everything is a mirror projecting back to you images based on your thoughts and beliefs. What you put out there you will get back. So let's clear all of that away and make space for new opportunities, people, and ideas to come in. Preparing and cleansing the space with sage, purifying all around you, and I would like to ask Archangel Michael to provide protection by placing a golden dome over us during this session. I also ask Archangel Raphael to oversee this healing.
let's begin moving into our subliminals, focusing on the present moment and taking soft and slow but deep breaths. I am the soul. I am the light divine. I am love. I am will. I am fixed design. I am the monad. I am the light divine. I am love. I am will. I am fixed design. Giving thanks for this healing session and then closing you down safely, grounding you and bringing protection. You must always protect your energy. You can do this quite simply by imagining a golden bubble of protection around you.
Thank you so much for spending this time with me. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel to see more from me in the future. I wish you a happy transition into Aquarius. Sweet dreams. See you next time. Peace.